The show with Dan and Joe. This is episode two. This is episode three. Episode four. Episode five. Got a pen I pour up heavy. In the layout on a Eddie. I got three hoes run the valley. In New Dios, not for belly. Stay that money, I for Perry. I shoot jumpers, call me Larry. Then in then Yonkers, I need a Navy. Don't need a sponsor, already in heaven. Yeah, I'm good. Also, what's up, everybody? We are here at the Airco Games in San Diego. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves real quick? Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Boston Flannery. I'm from New City, New York. I go to school in Greenwich, Connecticut, Brunswick School, and I'm currently uncommitted. I'm Charlie Soto from Orlando, Florida, and I'm committed to Central Florida. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Yeah, Let's get some que- we're going to get some questions going. We're going to have a good time. And yeah, so we're just doing content all week. It'll be a good week, so let's go. I'm gonna, yeah, I like this one. Do you think you can pump 101? Do I think? I think that probably five years into the future, I can definitely do it. You yeah, know, um, totally. It's going to take a while for me to, you know, just keep climbing. You know, it's not going to really be like just something that happens. You know, I think it's going to come with a lot of hard work and getting the right diet down. And once I get that, I feel like in a couple of years, then probably I'll be able to run it up there yeah. eventually. What, do you, what are your biggest tips for guys who want to gain velo, especially like younger guys, to gain yeah. velo? Um, my biggest tip is to keep throwing. You know, never really stop throwing because yeah. – um, I was fortunate enough, I got to meet, you know, Trevor Bauer, um, and he he throws every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, he never stops throwing. and All year, too. He, yeah, all year. Yeah. So yeah. his arm is constantly moving, and, you know, some guys are like, we need to shut down for a couple months. Yep. You honestly, really shouldn't do that if you're trying to gain velo. Um, and just, you know, hitting legs and, 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 and core and having the right diet and, mo- and probably mobility and flexibility is the biggest thing a pitcher can have, yeah. you know. Um, picture like thomas white who is he's crazy flexible mm-hmm. and you know I, I like if he didn't have that flexibility he wouldn't throw as hard sure. so you need to be really flexible with your arm and your legs and then that's probably one of the biggest really things yeah so charlie you had a kind of cool story you went from 88 to 98 in a year right yeah, yeah. that's kind of crazy so what's your what would you, your biggest advice would be or what would like what got you to that point um honestly the weights the putting on yeah, okay, weight because yeah. last spring i was only what 150 pounds really? or 180 pounds and, okay yeah and then and then putting on weight i got up to like 190 and my v i went up four miles an hour so i Just think like putting that, on yeah. weight putting on weight was the biggest thing for me uh-huh. with the with the weights and muscle obviously not fat sure, so yeah. you gotta have a right diet you gotta drink the right protein and all that and just take care of your body what do you think got you from like you know, touching 95 to touching 99, you know what I mean? Cause that just seems like such a hard jump to get. Yeah. To. Yeah. It's definitely hard. Um, I think, I think the thing for me was like he said, throwing a lot because mm-hmm. if your arm, if your arm like stops like throwing, then you're going to, you're not going to get used to like, you know, throwing in the games and stuff. So I think that was the biggest thing for me, just constantly throwing and stuff. Totally. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll do this one. How's the recruiting process been to you and or been for you? And then how would, what advice would you give to guys like looking to get recruited and where should they start with that? Um, I'll talk about both yeah, because, yeah. Um, you know, like the, what, after you decommit and then you try and let, you know, look for a new school, it's a completely different process. So when you're first looking for a school, um, you know, you want to play in big tournaments with, you know, a lot of, a lot of, where a lot of scouts go. So I'd say WWBA in Atlanta is probably the biggest one. There's always college scouts there for younger guys. Um, do you think travel ball is like, do you think you should play travel ball to get 110%. Mm-hmm. Travel ball is probably the biggest thing because okay. high school, um, it honestly depends on where you go to high school. Um, me, Greenwich, Connecticut, there's not going to be a lot of college scouts at, at your games. Um, but you know, it's just go to go play travel ball, you know. And and, and if, if money's a problem, then you know, get, you got to find something to, you know, get into it. But um, it's probably the biggest thing if you want to get recruited, hundred percent. And then uh, you know, and then just take it slow. You know, there's no rush whatsoever. You know, there's some guys that don't even commit until their senior year. Right. Um, so rush it. Do not need to rush. Go out, see every single campus that you can, mm. and make sure that you can feel your atmosphere there. Because you don't want to go somewhere where you know. You never been before, and then you commit, and then you're like, "Oh, I don't want to go here anymore." You yeah, know, it's right. a couple of years down the road, so um, it's just a really long process that you got to take 100 percent serious because at the end of the day, that's where you're going to be spending three, four years. Right. Um, and then after I decommitted from the University of South Florida, so after you decommit, it's a completely different process. You know, uh, before when you're uncommitted, schools will just you know they'll reach out to you, contact you, and you start talking to them. But when you decommit, it's different because a lot of schools won't know that you're on the market again. Um, so you kind of okay, you kind of yeah, got to reach yeah, out yeah. and stuff. So it was like social media big for you, like yeah. Twitter and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. a big thing is you know some guys will post their decommitment, some guys won't post it. Um, I wasn't a guy that posted it just because. You know, I didn't want to seem disrespectful to the old school and, you know, just throw it, blast it on social media and kind of rub it in their face. But, you know, it was 
it was kind of a difficult decision, but at the end of the day, it was it was a good decision that I made. You know, yeah. just you know, betting on myself. And that's the best thing you can do in yeah. baseball. Yeah. How about you? How's your recruiting process been? And what's your advice for guys wanting to get recruited? I mean, I didn't really talk to like powerhouse schools when I when I was getting recruited because like when I was getting recruited, I was only throwing ninety one miles an hour. Only. College, guys, college, <laughs> college, <laughs> college guys. College guys were looking for guys ninety four. Right, looking like power five teams. Yeah. One yeah. Three, so yeah. I wasn't really getting recruited by those guys, but. Honestly, like he said, like take your time because like there is no rush. Like Termar didn't commit till when he almost graduated. So right. just taking your time is probably the biggest thing, and um, just just look for the right school because the right school, like like he said, taking uh, college visits and stuff. Because if you don't if you don't see the school, then you're not gonna know what you like about it. Yeah. What's your like training process like on a day to day basis? Like, do you are you pretty like, like winter, summer? Yeah. And, so and let's say like so you're pitching tomorrow, right? Yeah. So what is your week leading up to throwing tomorrow look like? So if I'm throwing Monday, um, the week is a lot of a lot of cardio for me, a okay. lot of cardio and and mobility stuff. Mm-hmm. So the lifting isn't going to be too heavy um, during the season. You know, I'll get in there. Uh, I'd, like whenever I deadlift, I'll probably go max. 315 so you're trying know. to maintain strength. yeah i just want to maintain strength um and it's gonna be a lot of cardio i go to my old high school and i'll probably run two miles i'll run a couple hills and do some 60 yard sprints okay. and then call it a day yeah um and that's just, on what day would that be on in your that Sunday would be monday day? through friday oh every day I would, yeah okay, i would do yeah. that every day okay. um lifts would probably be monday wednesday thursday and then the day before I throw, I don't really do a lot. You know, I just like to stretch, throw a little bit, and then let my body get ready for the mm-hmm. next day. But mm-hmm. um, it's not going to be too much. And, you know, everybody's body works different. So there will be some guys who will just absolutely destroy their body in the gym the day before and be able to go out there and throw. Right. But um, you got to really find what's best for you because at the end of the day, like, not everybody's going to have the same program. So yeah. once you get out there and you figure out what's best for you, that's what you have to do every day. Don't go based right. on anybody else's thing. You can take parts from other people's programs, but at the end of the day, do what you do best yeah. because that's what's going to get you to the next level. It's not going to be, hey, Syndergaard does the, or DeGrom does this workout. I have to do it so right. I can throw 100. It doesn't DeGrom. work. Like yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. You're completely you know, different. But yeah, so throwing wise, are you still like, are you playing catch every day? Yeah, or, yeah? Uh, okay. pretty much every day. But, long um, toss? Do you long toss? I long toss way early in the week. Okay. Way early in the week. Sure. And yeah. it'll probably be twice. Um, and it won't be too long i'll probably actually no it'll be long do you do pull downs at the end too or i don't okay you just stretch only in the winter i do pull downs um i like to keep my arm as less as less stressful as i can so i'll only be high intent maybe you know two or three days out of the whole week gotcha yeah so yeah cool how about you what's your training program program look like so you're throwing wednesday right you throw wednesday so what like leading up to wednesday what's your mindset been and how you been preparing um First, I want to get mentally prepared because yeah. that's the biggest thing for me. If I'm mentally prepared, then I feel like I'm going to do good. But on the on the lifting and throwing side, Monday will probably be a hard day. Like I'll go full out on my legs, you know, just to, you know, just to feel them getting stronger and stuff. And then Tuesday, Tuesday will probably be like a stretching and mobility day. I'll still throw on those days, like 90, 120. But it will be like a stretching day and stuff. And then... On Wednesday, I'll, ju- I'll just be ready to go. I'll, I'll just also do mobility the day I throw also. Got you, yeah. And I do a lot of running, like yeah, a lot yeah. of running. Like long <laughs> distance or sprinting? No, like sprints. Like sprints, yeah. yeah. At, at ECP, I, I ran at least 40 sprints the day after I threw. Really? Yeah. Is that like it, you like clears your system type thing? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it helps because I get really sore on my scap. Mm. So that just helps me like my scap just loosen up and yeah, stuff. For and sure. then, yeah. Cool, man. Yeah. How you guys liking area code so far? I think this is probably my favorite event of the summer so really? far. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been it's been really cool. I've never been to the West Coast, and you know, it's just I love the, every the whole staff. You know, they treat everybody with respect and 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 just you know, like like a human being. Very you professional. Know? I feel very like. yeah, professional. Yeah, yeah. And you know, all our all our all our coaches are professional scouts, so I get to really dive in and talk to them about you know what the pro level is like and you know like i didn't even know what grades meant like like an 80 arm grade or a 70 arm grade i have no idea what that meant until pretty much like the right. past two weeks right, yeah. and that's what we're going to get based on when it comes time for july right so um it's just been the learning aspect has been crazy and that's probably the best thing that i have taken from this summer for sure yeah how about you uh, I mean, this is my first year coming uh, area code, so I mean, it's, it's an exciting experience. We're out here in San Diego. Like, Shout out San Diego. Yeah. It's dope. Right it's actually San, super dope. In San Diego. Yeah. So, yeah, um, the pro scouts here, they're just they're just really here to help you on whatever you want to learn and stuff. If you're a pitcher, you go to the pitching guy, tell him what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right. And if you're a hitter, you get with the hitting guy. So, I mean, they're just all here to help you, and it's just, it's just a great time. Yes. Yeah. 
I, I, I love it, bro. Man. It's so no, it's, genuinely like I it's actually amazing. genuinely like it. Like uh, it was just like, and it seems like they're actually making like a legit effort to like make it like hip and cool. Hundred like, percent. You know, it's not just like all right, yeah. everybody getting a group and move station to station. Yeah, no, a lot of these you, you can't run an event like that. A lot of these showcases, I feel like it's more about the scout or like the teams that they care more about those people. I feel like they yeah. care more about the kids and the players mm -hmm. here. Hundred percent. Every day field, yeah. for the Yankees, we go down to the to the turf field and we have like a 30, 40 minute dynamic warm up throw skill work and then we come up here mm -hmm. take bp and then play the game so That's it's crazy. like it's it's honestly a better learning experience and just like just development yeah and yeah. and like development is probably the best thing that you can have in any event college or or, or pro this was all level. about right 100 yeah, 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 yeah. just sure. getting better are you guys are you big like mindset guy like yes you, yeah so what's your what um, do you read or anything or are you just more like i do a lot of hypnosis oh okay yeah. so, so talk about that so That's um dumb. A lot of the days during the week, um, I'll throw my AirPods right before I go to bed, and I have an app on my phone where it pretty much is like a hypnotist, and um, I'll have different settings that you can do. So one would be confidence, one would be, um, you know, like grit, or like one would just be like overcoming a fear that you have. So like That's super dope. Yeah. yeah. So like if if um, I'm feeling nervous about the next day. Or like if I have a start and I'm like, okay, I'm facing a bunch of good hitters and I don't feel 100% confident, I'll listen to the confidence tapes three nights before and then it's weird. Like you just wake up, you don't really feel it. You just don't have that angst anymore. That's um, so cool, man. I also did that with my fear of flying. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And as a baseball player who travels the country. Yeah. Yeah. Did I you get over it? Like you're completely yeah, over it? Yeah. That's I travel the, con the cool. country constantly during the summer and um, I've been on planes the whole summer and I, in June, I was... Bro. Deathly afraid of flying. Power of the mind, man. That's 100%. crazy, bro. It's like kind of like manifesting. Do you like yeah. think about like the future a lot? Like 100%. I mean, yeah. A journal. So, a journal. Yeah. A journal? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So journaling really helps me, um, especially during the high school season. It was journaling every day and making sure that I was up to beat and, you know, writing everything is constantly. Is it more about like you, you journal about your outing or is it more like your, how your head's feeling or your head's where your head space Just you're in? every thought that every I thought, have. Yeah. Every thought. Even before or after the game, it's whatever thoughts that I have, you know, just so I can write it down in goals too. Yeah. And, um, you know, setting goals is... I don't really like setting goals yeah, yeah, um, yeah. because once you complete it, then you're like, what now? Um, so, you know, you just want to you want to go out there and play and you know like somebody was like hey i want to hit 95 just don't be like hey i want to hit 95 because once you hit 95 you're gonna be like all right then i want to move on just right. be like i'm just gonna go out there and play right you know what i mean because you're some like you're just gonna eventually do something and it's gonna happen you just want to keep getting better you know yeah. never really set goals because you want to get above whatever is that's Dude, gonna be that's what so many that's like a theme i've seen like people like really successful people are like i don't really set like these goals, these like big, like objective goals, yeah. they more like set tiny goals. Like today, what am I going to do to get better? Exactly. I got to throw, I got to lift, then I got to do recovery or whatever. Like they mm -hmm. have three specific things they do that day. It's not about like five years from now, whatever. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? You can't do that because it's just, you know, you nobody knows where they're going to be five years yeah. from now. Like you're going to be like, hey, like I want to play professional baseball in five years, but you can tear your rotator cuff and just be done. Right. So it's like, then you're like, what now? And you feel lost. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, and then it takes you, you know, it could take people years to come back from that mentally. So it's totally, dude. It's, just a crazy, crazy thing. Yeah. Well, how about you? What's your mindset kind of? Are you big mi into mindset or like what's your thought process? Like when you step on the mound, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm just thinking throw gas. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. I just go out there and I just want to throw gas. That's a mindset gas. though. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just want to blow it by you. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, that's what awesome, else do I bro. think? I mean, that's awesome. Obviously, I want to go out there and, and have confidence and compete, you know, but I mean, I'm really just trying to throw gas at You don't there. overthink it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't I don't try to overthink stuff because then that's when I'll start, like, uh, getting erratic and not mm -hmm. throwing strikes. So, I mean. Do you ever get, like, anxious about games or, like, you just kind of always just Not at all. Yeah, not you're at just ready all. to go. Like, you see all these scouts here. Like, I, I try to block that out and yeah. just go and show. Does that get you more, like, fired up? Like, it scouts? Does, yeah, it does. Yeah. It gets me more fired up because, totally you know, they're out, they're out here to, to see all of us. You know, me, Boston, they're just out here to see right, us like compete. are here for a reason. Yeah. Super cool, man. Do you think what's the importance of building like a social media like personal brand as like a uh, athlete in today's day and age? I think it's really important. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I say that is because you know there's some guys that won't see you until you're on social media. Um, and I can talk about that firsthand. You know, like I, I committed freshman year, um, and you know, like being committed does help you. But um, I really started posting on. Instagram, TikTok, and I started blowing up just posting baseball stuff. And then mm -hmm. I, I got a really good following doing that. And, you know, I got, I started getting seen by a lot of, um, by a lot of people. I started getting invited places and I feel like that if I, you know, 
really wouldn't have started doing that, then I wouldn't be in certain situations that I am because it helped me get into the school I am now. Um, and, you know, there, there was a bunch of pro scouts all over games. We had Adonis Guzman, best catcher that I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we had pro guys at every game. And, you know, just building your own brand is a, a very, very important thing because at the end of the day, like, you know, that's, it's your thing yeah. and people are, are going to want to buy it's you. your, it's built around you. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're gonna, everybody's going to want to buy your Jersey and, and your signed baseballs mm -hmm. and, and, and they want your signature at the end of the day. So it's like, you need to build your brand. And then, you know, because for me, it's not really about the money or any of that stuff. I just want, you know, I love being able to help or like the thing for me, I've always thought about when a professional guy would come over and talk to me on the field, how it impacted how it had, yeah, and then yeah. for me, I want to relay that to the, every kid that I meet. Hundred percent. Because yeah. at the end of the day, I felt so special when I, I was at I was at. You uh, remember to this day? Yeah, I was at yeah. Fenway, and Big Poppy handed me a ball, a foul oh, ball. That's our so guy, yeah. I was. I, I want to think like, how would, like, I want to. I want to do that for a kid. Yeah, you know what right? I mean? Yeah. You know, a kid comes up to me, Hey, can I get a picture? Can you sign my ball? Like, like, hell yeah, man. Bro, like, yeah. because like, <laughs> yeah. I want to give those kids that experience, um, so that they can grow up and then want to be in my shoes. Yeah. 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 That's, how about you? Have, I got on that ha, have you thought about, <laughs> have you thought about building like a personal brand type thing on social media, like posting like TikToks or videos? I mean, I've tried, but I'm not famous like this guy. Bro, over here. I bet, literally you just gotta take a video of like a bullpen with a radar exactly. and that'll blow up. Yeah. Cause you throw gas. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I've tried, but like, again, it's about, like you gotta this be guy, consistent this guy, yeah, he's yeah, famous. Yeah. So right. for me, yeah, I, I've been trying lately. I mean, I can probably post some videos. Of Bro, a you might not have to. These events will gas you up enough. Like yeah, no, enough they definitely clout. will. They yeah. definitely will. But yeah. yeah, building your own brand is is very important because then it gets it gets you known not only on the field but off the field, and then they know that you're a great guy off the field. Like like he said, signing kids' balls. Pause. Yo, <laughs> yo, pause. yo, yo, yo. Pause. <laughs> no. Baseball, baseball. Yo, no, <laughs> I did not mean it like that. Yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, right. That's a clip. That's a clip. <laughs> clip it. Signing kids, baseballs, <laughs> like and like anything that they have, and like yeah, it just looks good. Bro, on seeing you. your face change from yeah, like <laughs> when you realize what you said. Oh, I said, oh, that's, hard pause. That's, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> that's so funny, bro. Do you deal? Do you deal with a lot of like haters on social I do, media? I do. I yeah. do. Um, and it's you know it's. It's yeah. um, something I really want to dive into just because mm -hmm. it's, you know, at the end of the day, once you start getting a good following, you're going to get a bad following too. Um, and at the end of the day, like, I, I, I'll be the first to admit it. Last year, I probably had the worst season of my life in high school. You know, I, I you know, when I was still hitting and, and playing shortstop, I had 20 errors. I hit 182. Like, it was just, I did not have a really good year. And because I had, at the time, like... 30,000 followers on, on, on TikTok, every time I would go on, my comments would just be flooded with hate comments. And, um, you know, it got me down a little bit just because I was like, dude, like, you know, I'm, I'm a 16, 17 year old kid and I'm already getting this, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and then, you know, I started doing really good this year and it started, you know, leveling out. But at the end of the day, like if I have a bad outing, um, I'll get so much stuff for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and then everybody's like, oh, he's overrated, stuff like that. And it's just like, at the end of the day, baseball is a game of failure, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. Like, you can go, th you can hit 300 and, you know, get out seven times out of 10 times and be a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's just at the end of the day, it's like people got to realize, you know, we have mental health too. Um, and people's words are perceived in different ways. And, you know, you got to think about what you're saying to people because at the end of the day, you never really know what somebody's going to do or, or how somebody's going to turn out. Um, and you know, just, you know, spread kindness and, and, you know, just treat everybody with the same respect. Right, bro. It's crazy. Cause it's like, you think you see the people playing on the field and you don't mm -hmm. think it's like, or at least the haters aren't looking at it as like a real person. They're exactly. thinking like, Oh, it's just like a, a thing I can exactly. do entertainment, but yeah. it's like, bro, you're a real person. Like That's what I'm saying. And, and I have feelings yeah. and, and I like, we think, you know, we, we might think different, but at the end of the day, like we're both human. Yeah. So there's no reason it, for yeah for you to say that. And, and it comes from a place of jealousy, you know, from them. Like, it's just like, oh, I'm jealous that he's yeah, doing what and, he's doing, and, you know. But that, and like, and it's it even still like, at the end of the day, you know, you're logging on and you're watching my video. Exactly, so it's bro. Like, it's like, thanks you know, for the You're giving me views yeah. and stuff, but, it, you know, it's like, I just, you know, I just want people to start thinking like, you know, like, I'm not 
that type of guy who's going to, you know, rub it in your face or like, if I start doing good, you know, I just, I just want to be the type of guy who's, you know, just very calm, chill about it. And, you know, on the field, I kind of, I kind of talk a lot. So, um, that's di- yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's yeah. different, you know, but like some people will think that, you know, I'm not like a, like a cool guy just because on the field, I'll, I'll be, I'll be chirping the whole time mm-hmm. just be, but that's just how, you know, I, I'm from New York. That's how we play baseball up there. So, um, you know, we're, we'll talk a lot and we'll do all that stuff. But yeah. at the end of the day, like that's, that's not how I want to be perceived in, in social media. You know, um, I feel like I'm a cool guy. Am I a cool guy? Very cool. <laughs> I'm very cool. Yeah, very cool. Have very <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, what do you think about like the you know social media and like dealing with hate and stuff like that? Oh uh, well, let me tell you. The first time I hit ninety six, everyone was talking about how it was a mystery mm. that <laughs> that it was fake because I was I was sitting ninety ninety five, but I was not conditioned to throw that at all. So everybody thought it was a mystery and stuff. I but based but on them right after you did it, I saw the Twitter. Posts yeah. Were was that when was that recently? Like it was in, no, it was in December. That was okay. the first okay. time I hit ninety six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Everybody thought it was a mystery and stuff and like. The, that summer, I had went to Dominican Republic, so everyone was saying, "Oh, you're on roids. You did this. You did that." Like, like you know, yeah, I'm a 16 year old kid. Why would I even try to? Do- I was 15 actually at the Bro, time yeah. when I went to DR. So like, That's, why would I even yeah. do that? Like, there's no point. So yeah, I was getting a lot of hate on that, but I wasn't. I wasn't taking it in any way because like I knew the the work I was doing off the field, they weren't seeing that. So I knew what I was doing to yeah. to throw that. So I mean, I, I just really try to block it off, and you know, all those hate comments I get, I just I just ignore them because yeah. it doesn't really bother me. And now you're sit you're sitting ninety six, so like exactly, easy, so, so it's like, like doesn't even matter. Like, yeah. The guns aren't fake because I've hit it multiple times. Yeah, like so. there's seventy guns in yeah, there. Yeah, like, exactly. So I mean, yeah. it's like you can talk all you want. Like it's like it doesn't phase me, honestly. Yeah, love yeah. that, dude. Where do you see yourself in like one to three years? Where do you want to be? One to three years. Um, honestly, I couldn't tell you, you know, because God has so many different things in store for us and his path is his own. And, you know, what he has in store for you is going to be yours. But, um, you know, whatever, whatever happens, you know, I'll be ex- super excited to go on to the pro level out of high school or go to college, develop there, and then go to the pro level from there. Um, but, you know, just being here this summer and experiencing everything here is it's been so great just because I'm getting to experience what a minor league major league schedule is going to be like. Um, and, you know, traveling the country constantly being, you know, I haven't seen my best friend, my best friends in probably like a month or two, just because I've been in Alabama, North Carolina, California, you know, every, everywhere. So it's been, you know, it's been crazy, but at the end, you know, it's teaching me that, you know, when I grow up and I'm, I'm 20, 22, going to be doing this for a living. So, um, you know, just hopefully about development, like that's yeah. like, this is like developing you for that kind mm-hmm. of lifestyle. Too, 100%. Kind of cool. And, you know, I just want to be wherever I'm going to be, wherever I'm going to end up, I'm just going to be super happy and super grateful because I've gotten this far, yeah, you know? Yeah. So I wake up every morning and that's the best thing I can ask for. Blessed. Yeah. I love mm-hmm. that dude. How about you, man? Where do you see yourself? One to three years. Uh, one to three years. I'll, I see myself playing professional baseball, you mm-hmm. know, uh, either single A, double A, whatever it is. I just want to play professional baseball. And if I don't, I'll, I'll go to college ball, develop there and just, just hopefully get drafted out of there. But yeah, I see myself playing, playing professional ball for sure. And, um, just developing and, you know, I hope hope I don't get injured or anything and my arm stays healthy. <laughs> oh, you know, so yeah, I just see myself playing professional baseball. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Got any last thoughts? Anything y'all wanna say? Hot takes. Hot takes, Hot takes yeah. Takes. Hot takes are just I like I don't really know. Motivation for the kids. I don't even yeah. motivation. There's two different streets, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with the motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um there's gonna be a lot of times in your life where people are gonna tell you you're not good enough or people are gonna say you don't deserve to play here or or stuff like that and you know as some people may not believe it I've gotten told that my whole life um and you know like when I was younger I used to be the man and then you know some stuff happened and then you know I had to kind of readjust and, and fix my my mental you know you know the way I saw things mentally um and you know, never, never give up. Like that's, that's the one thing. And once you give up, then you're done because, you know, I see all these stories about big leaguers and, and all these different guys who just kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing because at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen. Um, nobody ever knows what's going to happen with them. So the moment that you stop trying is when you're done, mm. you know, um, you know, and just stay, stay super persistent. Yeah. How about you? Like Eric Sim says, throw gas, hit bombs, and and <laughs> lift big. And lift big. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, eat some steak, steak in there. Nah, but um, 
Yeah, there's going to be a lot of haters that come into your life that try to bring you down, and you just can't let that phase you. You just got to keep going and going. And and if you have to if you have to block some friends out of your life because they're trying to bring you down as well, block them out. I mean, you have one goal, and that goal is to play baseball. Yeah. As many sure. as many years as you want, yes, as you can. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, um, just try to... Um, I, got, I got one more thing to add. To you me. got one more thing to add? <laughs> so, um, uh, I was actually watching The Captain recently. Okay. And uh, one thing that's super important, surround yourself with people that have the same mindset as you. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, you want people to... You want to bounce ideas off the of people that you know are around you and have the same mindset because you can't have people that want to do different things in life that and especially with a sport like baseball which is ninety percent mental you have to surround yourself with people that have the same goal as you because that is the probably the biggest thing because you know there's a lot of people who quit playing baseball who can play professional for ten years that quit just because you know the mental side isn't right. Um, so surround surround yourself with people that you have the same mindset, you know, like like people like Derek Jeter, Michael Jordan, they all they all did that. Um and now we see where they are. So uh, you know, just Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. Also. I'm not saying I do, but if you have friends who who like do like drugs and drink and all that, block them out of your life cuz mm-hmm. that's only going to get you get them to want to introduce that to you and that's not going to help you at all. That's yeah. not going to help you to be where you're at because then you ca- get caught up in it and then the scouts find out or a college guy finds out and that you're screwed right there. It's a big X. It's a yeah, big yeah. X, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah no, that's a not, huge one, bro. Not, I still see not. people posting dumb things. I'm like, bro, like that's, you can't be doing stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, there's, there's, please, <laughs> please, if you're a baseball player or an athlete, just please, you know, try and keep politics out of out of your social media yeah. just because at yeah. the end of the day like <laughs> most of you guys are young enough you can't even vote yet so nobody's really <laughs> listening to you right, like right, right. so if you keep posting stuff like 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 stuff like that it's like it's like dude like come on that's you know? a great point I, yeah yeah 100 yeah. percent. you know but, and yeah, yeah. like you know just keep that stuff off of social media dude because it's like it can only hurt you like none of that stuff is going to help you because you never know like there's this guy with the opposite opinion and he'll cut you off his list because he doesn't agree with you with right. politics, you know? So just keep that stuff out of social media and, you know, just, you know, especially with social media, just, you know, keep it clean and just post yourself and, you know, just show people your true self and what you're about, you know, don't try and be somebody that you're not and just keep that stupid stuff away from social media. Yeah. I think that's a great spot to end. You got anything? Yeah. All right. Thank uh, you guys so much. I appreciate you, you joining. Yeah. yeah. You guys. That was fire. Yeah, yeah. And also, <laughs> G. also, dude, good luck uh, in your games, man. Thank I'm you, pumped. Thank I'll you, put thank highlights you. and stuff once you guys yeah. throw and all I'm that. I'm gonna throw gas. Just dude, saying, y'all triple better digits. watch. <laughs> triple digits. Yeah. I'm, g- I'm going for it. I'm going. I'm for gonna it. get it on video too. So, it, uh, word. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that was awesome, yeah, man. Was awesome. Hit a pen and pull heavy in the layout on a Eddie. I got three rows run valley. You know Dios never belly. Stay that money, I for Perry. I shoot droppers, call me Larry. Then they ain't Yonkers, I need a Navy. Don't need a sponsor, hurry in heaven. They calling me the main. Had to slow down, I done bought too many chains. Call a robot, the engine.